Hello everybody, it's Doug Garda here. Um, it's, it's supper time, but I feel like I want to give a quick uh, vlog here, I guess, on what I'm working on. Right here I have a test set up. Right in the library, my favorite workshop, you know. Right here I got my new Ingenious EGS 5212FP gigabit switch, 8 ports. And this model has power over Ethernet. And one of the reasons why I got this switch was um, I'm using this ingenious ECB 350 gigabit, um, well, the gigabit LAN access points. Um, they're the wireless itself is not gigabit. They're they're 300 megabits per second access points. So I've been started using the, uh, these access points throughout the, this building and for personal use, and I really, really, really like them. So uh, I got a whole box full of brand new units here. But to test them, um, I heard a reviews that say they don't work on with PoE switches. And then I'm looking at Ingenious site, they said the reason why is they are not. This phone's not focusing on the switch. Most stuff. A lot of PoE switch, PoE switches cannot provide enough power to power these access points, and so they recommended they uh, they had a list of compatible switches. And this is well, it wasn't on the list, but it's this is a newer model of the ones that were on the list. And so what we have here is we got the typical LAN connection. And right now it's not a gigabit because it goes to the switch as a hundred base, but this is adequate for testing purposes. Then we got the Ethernet cable going to the access point. And as you can see, there is no power cord plugged into this. Normally I've been using the power cords that are plugged into them in the classrooms and stuff because accessing a, a power and outlet is not that big of a deal. Um, so anyway, what's kind of cool here is on the switches settings here, um, it's plugged in port 5, its status is delivering uh, 54.7 volts at 55 milliamps. Now if I go to power budget, oops, I need to log back in here, hold on to one second. Alright, it should let me in. Alright. There you go. We go back to power over over Ethernet settings here on the power budget. It says this is set up to 130 watts, and right now I'm consuming three watts. And so that's a pretty cool setup. Now, while I have this on, I'll go ahead and show you. This this laptop has Windows 10 installed on it. I was uh, trying to do a dual boot configuration, but it didn't work, so I just ended up wiping the drive. Now, one of the major glaring bugs I see is this doesn't work too well. You got um, the search bar. If you get a search bar, let me see if I can get that bug working. Okay, now it's working fine. Okay, so sometimes you get the search bar. I think it's because I have the icon set. If you have it, you can have it set where there's a search bar right in there. I don't like that, so I have it set the icon. But if you have the search bar there and you start typing something, it, a configuration icon comes in front of you. and You can't type anything. And so another thing, another bug that I see here. Oh, now it's going to show me. Now, it's, now see that now it does it. I type, I start typing something, and it gives this icon here, and you can't type anything while it's there. And if you click on the icon, it just goes to um, Cortana Home. Alright. Now, I don't know if I can show you the other thing, because now it's doing that Cortana thing. But, like, in typical Windows fashion, right? Hit this. And now now it's doing what it's supposed to do. Much I can't show you the other bug. Because now... Now, if, well, here, if you type something, I don't think it's going to work. Here we go. Word. No, I didn't do anything. So, but if I type word here, well, it's buggy. I can't, I can't, sh 
Now, let me get out the start menu. Let me see. Start and type in Word. W O R D. And it works. It, do, it doesn't show what I'm typing. That, that's what I was trying to show you, the bug. I mean, here it does show the Katana interface. And when you start typing, it gives you that setup. But sometimes it doesn't even show you this bar at all. But just by the fact that you're typing, W-O-R-D, you know it is doing something. So now we're back in Word, and, uh, and we're going to do a different program here. Let's say... Uh, uh, P A I N T. I assume that's paint. Uh, must not work. Um, anyway, it's it's kind of buggy. But like the Microsoft's very aware of the start menu uh, bugs. I saw a list of known issues with Windows 10 Preview, and uh, the start menu was definitely on top of that list. All right, it's. Like I said, it's supper time. I'm going in this video. And you guys have a good day.